A semi that took some wrong turns and got stuck in Lake Park is gone. It took about four hours to get this truck unstuck from the bridge this morning. The accident happened yesterday, and the driver says he was following his GPS when he drove over the pedestrian bridge. We reached out to the trucking company, but they refused to comment during the investigation. Take a look here from News Chopper 12. The driver was in the Lake Park Bistro parking lot when he took the pedestrian path, made it over one bridge, but then crashed into some trees and then hit a second bridge. The semi was empty at the time. The driver was cited with reckless driving and failure to obey those signs there. Uh, here's a close look at the damage to the concrete entrance and the railing to that bridge. 12 News' Kent Wainscott explains the historical impact and the plans to restore the park. The two lion bridges perched high above Milwaukee's shoreline are historic landmarks, so the damage to them may be equivalent to breaking a museum piece. 1898 is when those lion bridges went up. Jeff Beaudry of the Milwaukee County Parks Department says engineers were on the scene inspecting the bridges almost immediately and felt secure enough to reopen them to pedestrians. But it may take a while to know how extensive and costly the damage is. At this point, uh, it looks like not a whole lot of damage, but that's just speculation. These bridges have handled a lot of traffic over time, mostly foot traffic, certainly not trucks. In fact, they were here before the first cars hit the streets of Milwaukee. The Lion Bridges were part of the original Lake Park design by Frederick Law Olmsted, the man who designed New York's Central Park and other renowned parks around the world. Milwaukee historian John Gerda says the bridges have been a centerpiece of the North Shore Park from the beginning. And this was actually a carriageway. So you would have seen some fine horses and some well built carriages going back and forth through here. But it was not built for a semi rolling through here. Just last year, the county reinforced both of these bridges in hopes that they would last another hundred years. And that work may have helped limit the damage. To say the least, we're glad that uh, we did uh, renovate the bridges. Uh, you know, what that would have meant, we don't know. And whatever it takes, Beaudry says, the bridges will be fully restored. On Milwaukee's east side, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News. The county says it has no timetable right now for estimates on the damage to that bridge.